lovely to talk to you again. How have you and your delightful husband, Plankton, been? Sheldon, don't get me started on him. After all these years wasting his time trying to corner the fast food market, now he thinks he can rule the world just by winning a role in a TV show, which is... Right. Well, hope that works out for him. Now, on to business. What are you intending to do with our hopefuls? Well, I have three challenges for them here in the Chum Bucket. Whoever survives them will be the one for the role. Okay, are you ready for our wannabes? Yeah, sure. Send in the organic life forms. All right, I'll be checking out the action here. I love how they could even lip sync with a computer. Who doesn't have any lips? Oh, it was just waves. You couldn't sync that with the voice? Really? Really? Wow, that's just, that's, that's kind of just lazy on there. Jeez. Really? 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 And this one's basically just press A. Just press A in front of stuff that's not green. Make everything green! That's communism! Everyone must be green. Who always oh, was SpongeBob? SpongeBob! So basically, just tap A and fix. I'll fix this thing. To do. So basically, the more stuff you do, the more. See, so top right corner, you have to keep that. Trying to keep that and the green zone. Oh, the symmetry. And the more, because the more green zone that zone that is, the more points you'll get, because that'll be the higher um, uh, process of uh, power and figuring things out. Uh, we're we are efficient, SpongeBob. We are efficient. I'm waiting for that generator to start to wear. Cause hold on, hold on, SpongeBob. Hold on, SpongeBob. Hold on. We can't let this go down. If you let the generator fail, you are screwed. Because everything shuts down then. So, basically, you want to keep... Make sure things don't... The generator doesn't fall apart. I mean, you can... See, look at that. Immediately. If you, get dumb, you can get some dumb computers. We'll just, just start fixing it. And then aren't easy. They'll start fixing it. And then they'll leave. They'll seriously what to do. They'll just go fix it for a little bit. They'll get half percent. Like, they'll fix it halfway. And then they'll just leave it. Fix it. Because if you do that, even though it's barely wearing, you actually will keep it. So. Reset. Thank you. Uh, so basically, you want to. I like doing is run down, run back, and if I'm down here and the generator starts to wear, that's a really good timing because then I can just fix it and I'll be on my way. Make sure things are the green. Because when they stay green, they'll stay green for a little bit before they'll go down. Is it, is it starting to wear? That's no, something. Sorry. Dang it. Team two's generator is running at full capacity. I was trying to fix that. It's all about timing. If, yeah, I think I'm all the way down here. Here. Yeah, we don't want to. Come on, Spencer. We can't let this stay much longer. Uh, fine. I'll do it by myself. Yeah, we're starting to fall back here with all the item problems. So you gotta keep on pressing A. This is not very hard in any game. But if you have a dumb computer player, this thing's harder than it should be. Come on, Spongebob, fix that faster. Come on, we gotta fix this. Come on, come on. I'll fix this thing, my jig. I rem I'm remembering that more often than anything. Team 2, repair your generator immediately! Team 2, repair your... Uh, fix this. I command you to work! What? Thank you. I gotta get down here again because everything's falling apart down here. We took, we've been we've gone this for so long. So let's get this thing done. And I'll get how I don't think these guys should anyone in this game should be actually mechanics in real life because you guys are just pulling stuff. I wouldn't trust you as my um, ex mechanics. Winner. Ooh, we couldn't get perfect. We barely didn't get perfect. Oh well. Beats me. But it's get it. Uh, so, anyways, next one is the popping bubbles run, right? Popping bubbles. I'm trying to burst your bubble. But yeah, that's all this game is. is pressing A, moving, and press A. You see a pattern here? Well, technically, you can charge pressing B and X, but there's really no point in doing it. I mean, you can charge across the room, try to pop a bubble, but that's not really. Uh... Okay. 
Oh, was I hitting the black control? Oh, I was hitting my player 2 controller and I was messing up the controls. Oh, high spin up. If you fall <laughs> the wow. Anyways, you basically go around popping bubbles. The green one, the green ones. The green ones are actually are bad bubbles, so they pop them for 10. However, you will be worth the safe hazard of not of not being um, tortured by them later on. If you pop your uh, person's bubble, you if you pop someone else's bubble, you get 50 points. However, you do freedom, and they will be stunned a little bit, so don't worry about um, a little bit that. Um, red ones are worth 10, and orange ones are worth 20, and blue ones are worth um, 30. So, you have 30 bubble, which basically you want to want to pop it. I don't know who got the points. I think Splinter got the points for popping them, but as if you just uh, um, the the clouds will only stun you. However, the other one will be a giant fist, and that actually will make you take, make you stand still, and other stuff. Stand still and other stuff. That'll actually grab you, make you lose points like that. Good. Some kind of good strategy is just tap A, just tap A as best you can, just because stand like that, around other people. Bubble blast. Uh, this is probably one of the, you just want to tap A and try to get. Just because the other side where everyone else is not, try to get the points before they can, because those point bubbles are worth a lot of points. So if you can pop all of those bubbles, you are in pretty good shape. Uh, what else can I say about this game? Try to be where people aren't. That's how you can get the most points. Because if you are around where someone else is all the time, well, you can't really pop the bubbles because they're going to be in the way. Make sure you can stay out of people's way. From hole. Tap A to get out of the bubble. Someone's gonna hit that. Oh, no, it's just gonna. Oh, they use the cloud to go from one um, hole to another hole. So then they. So trying to, if you can see where it's going, then stay out of its way. Or maybe if you use it as well. So it's up to you. It's on. You can kind of try to keep track of who gets points when their face lights up. So when especially when that dirty bubble comes around, you can't tell who's got the points. Uh, you can tell that it's kind of like the face who who lights up. Step capture. Oh, never mind. I missed. You're lucky. No. Just keep up, 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 up. No, what are we using to pop these spatulas? What are we popping these with? Like, what are, what are these? I'm gonna by myself, so I'll be able to get this hack pretty well done. See, this is the B thing that you can charge up. You can actually hit people, and make them lose points. But then, if your strategy is to make other people lose points, that's only if you're like on a like addition or something, and you're trying to make people other people lose. Because I really never use that charge. Computer players never use that charge either. So. I really don't know why the heck you would want to do it, but hey, it's there! It's the option! Just kind of like the option for you to do it. I guess the next thing, the option to do it. It's like just being nice that you're actually giving the offer instead of actually doing it. That's when you basically charge up and press spikes. Charge! What you do is charge up and you press A, then the specs. It kind of looks like, um, ooh, what's a good word for it? It looks like a star, but it looks like one like if you were like wrap rubber bands on trying to make shapes. That's kinda like what this kinda looks like. Except it's a, not bad. Anyways, you get points for making triangles and um uh, triangles and then every time you convert one. Or it's you get points when you make a triangle. Not when you actually have a triangle. So basically, if you want to, you can keep. I want. I like playing keep center. So if you someone takes the center, you get all the points around it again. So it's very easy to get points against. So you to, if you have, if you have, so, you and someone get to argue over the middle point, like one person going and kind of rotating back and forth, you can get a lot of points then because you can just look. Look at that. Thank you, SpongeBob, for I'm um, doing that for me. Because he tried to, he took the middle with nothing around it, so I had all the things around it, and I was just getting poof. Points. Pretty easy. 
I kind of lost the middle there because I was plucked and kind of made a campaign. He's on charge. See? Now, power surge, all points are double, so. Someone tries to take the middle here. I'd like to get the points to go along with it. And thank you, Plankton. Oh, if I had one more of that, I could have gotten more points there. Mr. Crab, start trying to take over my reign of empire. There we go. Thank you, SpongeBob. When it goes onto that charge, it actually spins the other way, so technically you can try to, like, figure out which where you want to end up when your charge runs out. But then, if that's kind of advanced, it doesn't a simple minigame. But if you really want to get complicated here, you can try to, like, figure out where you want to go. One's about to run out. So you can take the outside, but I never ever really use the outside. It's kind of just there, to I mean the outside specs. I, mean, I just like to, I like the middle six, and I'll keep using that over and over again. If I want to, I can go and take the outside. But like I'm, like I got extra charge left over, and no one else is making a move. I'll go ahead and do that. Now you're gonna be more bold than the pure players for some reason. So so, go ahead and do that if you want to. Back to, there's, there's always two charges, so here's the next power surge. See, if you if you want to run to the left, don't do it while on it. Kind of play the effect of the spinningness. Spinningness of the big, huge center thing. Charged. Now, uh, again... So if you basically just keep go ruling the middle, you'll do just fine. Ooh, I really wish I had that middle one there. Kind of lose a little bit of rain there, but anyways. Just go around, go around, go around, go around, done. I think it was pretty much getting close game, don't you think? That one usually is uh, that one usually is out of balance. For some reason, the computer players cannot get the pa do not do well in the game if you do that strategy. So, what did our actors do in the auditions for the captive role? They were keen, they were eager, they were... Eh, not very good. Surely one was better than the rest. Patrick Starr is the best match to the required captive role. Patrick, eh? Well, thanks for that, Karen. See that Patrick Starr gets down to wardrobe. Wardrobe! Makeup! In other words, the movie player people usually shout. I don't know, watch movies. I don't. I usually don't watch movies. That's probably my problem. I don't watch movies. Who probably should? And guess what? The scenes for the chum bucket take place at the chum bucket. If you're just gonna pattern with the scenery and the place where it took place, <laughs> the place where it took place. Wow. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Each audition. Audition. What is it? Audition. Audition takes place at the exact same place. That this film that. So you have three more, three more. And then it'll be movie time. And who's in the lead so far? Oh, you couldn't guess. 